If you're watching this video, then I'm guessing you're probably familiar with the play that I'm going to talk about here. But if you aren't, then just know that it's absolutely crazy. And everyone who's seen it would agree. Like it's the first double flip reset that has ever been hit in an RLCS game. So yeah, it's good. But even with all the praise that Akronik has gotten for the shot, I think that we still might be underrating just how good it is. The play starts out pretty normally. Akronik gets a bit of space with the ball after a failed offensive transition from Solary, so he pops the ball up and takes light after it. When the ball reaches its peak, he leans back and gets the flip reset. This is where he runs into trouble, with Fair meeting him up in the air. There are two main ways to stop an air dribble. You can either hit the ball, or you can hit the player with the ball. Doing either of these things will stop the air dribble in its tracks, and Fair is positioning himself to do one of those two things, by going out in front of the ball instead of directly to it. Flying directly to the ball isn't an option, because he saw a chronic flip reset, and if he chose to use it, the flip would send him in a straight line, parallel to the ground, in whatever direction he flipped, and the acceleration from the flip would move him away from Fair fast enough to avoid him altogether. Fair is assuming that a chronic will use his flip to go forward, so he puts himself in front of a chronic, in a line that is also parallel to the ground, right in the potential path of a chronic and the ball. All things considered, this is a pretty good defensive play. But this is where Chronic shows his genius. Instead of using his flip to try to hit the ball forward like most players would here, he feathers his boost to go underneath it a little bit more and uses his first flip to get his second flip reset. Flipping into the ball gives him a bit more speed when he hits it with his wheels, which causes two things to happen. One, the ball bounces off his wheels and goes upwards just enough to leave the defender's trajectory and float safely past him. And two, hitting the ball off your wheels with speed also causes your car to bounce off the ball as well. This happens to a Chronic and that bounce off the ball takes him under the defender's flight path, making him safe as well. Before, Fair was on track to disrupt both the ball and a Chronic, but with one move, a Chronic was able to send the ball up and send himself down, and as a result, Fair flies directly between the two, falling out of the play. But the job isn't done yet, because Fair still manages to get a small bump on a Chronic, which sends him down a little too fast, taking him further away from the ball. And with Chaussette jumping up next to challenge, a Chronic doesn't have much time to make a play. So he uses the jump from the second reset to preflip towards the ball, which again sends him in a straight line parallel to the ground, therefore canceling his downward momentum. So instead of him falling down away from the ball, the ball is now falling down towards him. He uses the last of his boost to fix his trajectory and fly back to the right so that he can reach the ball, and he even turns off the ball cam to make sure he gets the perfect touch. He gets a pass shot set, and he rotates into the ball with his last touch, giving the ball a bit of extra speed, which allows it to get to the goal before Astro can recover to make the save. A chronic is insane, this play is insane, and I can't wait to see what he has in store for Season 11.